Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are at 476.3 kilometers with a density of 2.3. Our sun is blank. This will make now eight days consecutive without sunspots, giving us 140 days in 2019 without sunspots. Our KP indices are coming in at a two right now, and the 24 hour max is at a three. Taking a look at the SDO in motion, we have that Earth-facing coronal hole now turning away from Earth. We are actually feeling the effects from that solar wind. As predicted, a stream of solar wind has reached the Earth on July 31st and is gently buffeting our planet's magnetic field. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially in the southern hemisphere where winter darkness favors visibility. And now here's Mari. Thank you, Jake. And this is a warning for our subscribers and potential subscribers. This is a rant. I don't do it often, but I think people, well, from what I hear, people seem to enjoy them. The Mari Freestyle Rant. I wanted to bring you some extreme weather, climate change news, volcanoes, earthquakes, you know, the basic kind of news. And I'm looking through these articles. I see an article about 200 reindeer who have been found dead, apparently because of climate change. I see that human trafficking now is all because of climate change. That's according to the UN, by the way. <sighs> I ponder about an article about the Crab Nebula slamming Earth with the highest energy gamma rays ever detected. No, but I go further. I look at the flood that devoured a farm in India. An article about climate change hypocrites. And then I finally stumble upon an article that just made my blood boil. And let me tell you, I woke up this morning, I put out the learning series, and according to our subscribers, that is a highly anticipated video. And no one got notifications. I premiered it, and I believe, including myself and Jake, there was five people uh, who watched the premiere. No notification went out, and hardly any views. I've gotten reports. When people search for it, it doesn't come up. Now, I've, I've rearranged our YouTube channel so it gets more exposure, but this article set me off. And it makes a lot of sense why our channel would no longer come up in the Google search, why Google would purposely take us from 85% exposure on Google search engine to 5%, if it is even 5% now. A-listers flock to Google Summit in private jets, mega yachts, to talk climate change. The world's rich and famous have flocked to a posh Italian resort to talk about saving Mother Earth, but they sure are punishing her in the process. The billionaire creators of Google have invited a who's who of A-list names, including Barry, Prince Harry, Leonardo DiCaprio, Katy Perry, all to the Sicilian seaside for a mega party they have dubbed Google Camp. The three-day event will focus on fighting climate change because you can fight the sun. Right, guys and gals? <sighs> Though it's unknown how much time the attendees will spend discussing their own effect on the environment, such as scores of private jets they arrived in and mega yachts many have been staying on, everything's about global warming. That's the major topic this year, a source told The Post. Their three-day summer camp will cost the tech giant $20 million. Many of the guests, including Barry and DiCaprio, who has his own climate change foundation, have described global warming as the biggest threat to future generations. But according to Italian press reports, the attendees were expected to show up in 114 private jets and 40 had arrived by Sunday. The Post crunched the numbers and found that 114 flights from Los Angeles to Palermo, Italy, where the camp guests landed, would spew an estimated 100,000 kilograms of CO2 into the air. 
Yeah, they're so anti-CO2, but look at that. They're primary contributors right now. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure the trees will thank you. Google Camp is meant to be a place where influential people get together to discuss how to make the world better. And that comment was made by a regular attendee speaking to the post. There will likely be discussions about online privacy or censorship, <clears throat> politics, human rights, and of course, the environment, which makes it highly ironic that this event requires 114 private jets to happen. The attendees pay for their own travel to Sicily, but then Google foots the bill for everything at the opulent Verdura Resort, which reportedly features two golf courses and where rooms start at $903 a night. The sources tell the Post that the guests were personally invited by Google founders Larry and Sergey Stars also include Harry Styles, Orlando Bloom, Diane von Furstenberg, Barry Diller, who arrived on their enormous $200 million yacht, which has both sails and two 2,300 horsepower diesel engines. Billionaire DreamWorks founder David Geffen, meanwhile, gave Perry and Bloom a ride on his $400 million yacht, The Rising Sun. Also on hand for the environmental gab fest was the mega yacht Andromeda, a 351-foot behemoth owned by a New Zealand billionaire which features its own helipad. Many of the attendees were seen in photos tooling around the island in high-speed sports vehicles, including Katy Perry, who has made videos for UNICEF about climate change and was seen in a Maserati SUV that gets about 15 miles per gallon in the city. Stella McCartney, Bradley Cooper, Nick Jonas, and several others will be on hand. Even Mr. Mark Zuckerberg of Google's rival, Fakebook, was invited, according to local reports. Guests dine among ancient temples and are treated to performances by the likes of Sting, Elton John, and Coldplay's Chris Martin before retiring to their suites at the Verdura Resort. The tech company goes to extreme measures to keep its camp a shh secret. All hotel staff and security have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. <sighs> we on YouTube at the Grand Solar Minimum channel are so heavily shadow banned, censored, blacklisted, lacking notifications, lacking exposure. I spend hours editing creating graphics, it's making it easy to understand. It is so frustrating to see how stunted our channel is amongst most channels, even the crazy conspiracy channels that have these sensational titles and everything. I've seen channels come out of nowhere and explode, yet our channel just sits here on the back burner, sort of spinning its wheels, not getting a lot of exposure. It's sad to me that the information we dissect and put in a really short format, easy to understand way gets censored like this. And the reason why, kids, is you have people like this. You have the powers that be. You have Google, who owns YouTube. To me, I feel this channel's in a state of emergency. We have to find a different platform. I really hope people will follow us to whatever platform we have. I'm going to be focusing on our website and Patreon. Reading articles like this makes me feel sad. Our society idolizes all these people in the media. It's like a sickness, a cancer. I don't really have hope for much of the population, to be honest. But I have hope for this community and the people in it, and I hope that we all can band together, including other GSM channels, to have a platform for people to actually go to and learn about this subject. I've opened up the thegrandsolarminimum.com to have a social media platform. Uh, I welcome everyone to join it and 
share their own content on the website. The website's a beast. It's very expensive to run. My hosting provider wants me to pay about 70 bucks a month to keep it running. So I hope people start using it and we can pool our resources together to keep it going and to get the information out there and to have a place where people can learn and discuss the different topics without these crazy, psychotic people who reject science latching on to a concept such as CO2. People so ignorant to think that a trace gas would be more powerful than our sun. When you have NOAA, NASA, all just saying right there on their websites, the sun is the primary driver of the climate. Yeah, everyone wants to focus on the CO2 hoax. That's where the money is. I hope this community can start banging their drums a little bit louder and speaking out a little bit more and sharing the information even more and pressing harder. With that, I'll leave you. I'd like to thank you for tuning into the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share this video. It's so important to share it and get it out there. We will be on live tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me in the chat. It's always a pleasure to spend that hour with you. 